You're watching Rob to a live right here on YTFF for TV, your favorite youth channel. My name is Philine. That's at Philine Jean on all social media pages. Now, let me send some love to all the guys that are tuned in right now. The few ones that I can see on um, that's on Facebook. I have uh, it's your right, Jeanette Michaels. You're tuned in. Thank you so much for watching the show. Uh, so line, so line, Eva, and so, uh, um, hi, loving the okay, hi, love, enjoying the show. Nikki Wanaiva's Outer Ring Road show, Eco Sour. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Lately, lately, with those flames, a big shout out to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Felicity in Jarogan, I'm enjoying the show. I had forgotten just how awesome Dotri can be. Thanks for the reminder. I know, right? Apart from one person, that is Yvonne Duby, who does not like Dotri. I don't know why, but shout out to Heavy and the Beast, regardless. And then Muhu Ivo and Sanas, rocking and rolling from the great Kabeta region, enjoying the show as usual. Please play for me. Gotta get out of this place placed by the animals we'll try find it for you if you have it we're going to be playing it for you anderson bailey and it's my loving the show from buru buru thank you so much i think that's 58 number 58 right please play for me die uh food Food effort? Okay, I don't know uh, the band, but thank you so much. We're gonna look for that. I'm gonna look for that, and then if we find it, we will definitely play for you. But thank you so much for staying with us. Thank you so much for choosing Y254 TV. And of course, early on, I told you we had a guest in studio, and she'll be joining us. We just played her song before we came back. Her name is Zainab Sule, and she is in studio. And just to tell you, no, this is not her first or second or third time. It's actually is it the the third time. Is it third <laughs> Rachel, how are you Thank doing? You. I'm doing fine. I'm yeah. fine. Good to have you. Good to be well, here. Welcome back to Kenya. Thank you. Asante. Yeah. Sana. And it's a great time to visit Kenya right now. So thank you so much for making time yeah, to come. It's cold. It is cold. It's cold. A little bit. Can, your weather cannot make up its mind. Mm -hmm. It's hot in the afternoon. It's cold in, in the evening. <laughs> it's freezing in the midnight. I'm like, what is wrong with Kenyans? But yeah. So how is the Nigerian weather compared to Kenya? It's hot. It's very hot. Yeah, it's super humid. All right, so just to recap, uh, we, oh, you guys, I, I think Nimesha or Chosha and Historia, but they have been telling me every single day like it's been my birthday for the entire week. So we went to Mombasa. Yeah. So how is Mombasa compared to Nigeria in terms of uh, humidity? Mombasa needs a special anointing because that place is hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Mombasa is, Mombasa is very hot. It's I don't even know the word that is in the dictionary because like you are sweating on your, you know, you, you start itching. Remember when oh, we got to the train station? That's, true. that's, true. <laughs> it has, that's why I have not been in Mombasa for such a long time. And I remember telling you like, I don't like Mombasa because it just like makes my skin like itch. So we got to Mombasa start and we were already everywhere. scratching and my skin was turning <laughs> No, please. And we couldn't breathe. Remember, for the first few seconds, the, like the air was too hot. That is, that <laughs> is, well, Nigerian weather that late mm -hmm. is not that hot. Okay. It's cool. But, oh. but like in, in Mombasa, I think it's the whole day until yeah. you enter into your apartments. And even the walls are hot. <laughs> yeah. So that's the, that's the difference between Mombasa and Nigeria. But at least the apartments have ACs, all of them. Yeah. But in Nairobi, yeah. here, my apartment doesn't have fan or AC. Because you don't need it. I, Apparently, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. one major difference I noticed. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Really we don't do ACs apart from the studio. Like in studio, like, yes, yeah, like now it's cold but now, but no. no, no, it's actually literally raining outside. So it's yeah. still raining. Yeah, yeah it's still raining. <laughs> But thank you so much for coming to Kenya. It's been a whole, uh, it's almost two years. The last time we met yeah, was 2019. 2019 for the show. Yes, then COVID happened. And now uh, it's 2021. Yes, then it's 2021. So how was, how is life since we last uh, saw you right here in studio? How are things? How are things, things are fine. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently this time I didn't come for a show. I just came to, to just enjoy. Uh, calm yeah. down. Just to avoid, avoid stuff and just write new music. Mm -hmm. And Kenya does that for me so I wanted oh. to do uh -huh. <laughs> so, so, so I wanted to do that Kenya is an inspiration for you but actually you're not the first artist I've seen a, a couple of people who just come to Nairobi to just unwind and uh, get that um, the writer's block 
you come here and it just like comes back yeah. to you. Yeah, so most people do that. Yeah. But welcome to the country. We're so excited to have you and welcome to the show as well. Thank you. And, uh, you know, COVID, it just took us by surprise. No one was prepared for yeah, that. Yeah, because uh, it was true. Because we our friends come around, remember? Yeah. Our friends come around and then uh, all of a sudden shut down. Mm-hmm. If I start from COVID and then the shutdown was like a joke. <laughs> and you're like, how would they shut down? How would they shut down the whole world for what's now? Next yeah. thing, you're hearing president saying okay don't go out Mm -hmm. don't say hi don't shake anyone wear your face mask (laughs) Uh, god it was a very bad six months or seven months right before we actually got used to it it was really crazy and you know it went really bad in nigeria because um people started because people couldn't eat because the restaurants and supermarkets were closed Mm -hmm. so there was this video of a married man with his kid it was like see anything that wants to happen you guys just kill me he was he was on his boxers it was ready for them to beat him so he could go to the supermarket because there, there was nothing at home oh they he, food at yeah and he wants to go and the, the yes and, he was, and the kids are hungry and there was security on the road and not allowing people to go anywhere yes. and he's like see beats me just beats me because i must go so did they let him in no no they still but he made the news though because <laughs> that was how bad it had gotten <laughs> i know like we were so scared i remember one time uh, when it was just getting started and people were freaking out they didn't know what to do what to expect you know the fear of the unknown because you don't know this corona you know what's happening see. tomorrow yeah yeah so what happened i remember everyone telling um me like just take as many loans as you can smoke <laughs> as much food <laughs> as you can <laughs> no one was giving loans in that, that, no that one is the worst no. mistake ever because it's now a bad financial yeah thing. so that like, you just get like a lot of loans and then you don't know when you think but how do they get. even give you guys like in nigeria it's not, it's not good. nobody all the loans shut down oh, yeah they give us into, uh, to some extent they go to a point where they stopped i think giving loans oh, because wow. people couldn't pay back and of course the government restricted them from uh, you know blacklisting people just oh. like you know uh, increasing their rates the of, rates. Uh, because no one is working so how do you expect them to pay, to pay you back even rent some people couldn't make rent some people went to back to a, a country it was crazy but in terms of you now as an artist because uh, most artists they use music as a means of survival so so now all of a sudden you're not prepared but there are no shows and artists not just in Nigeria in Kenya also, they yeah. live a very extravagant life oh. so you see you've been making money you never knew a time will come when you have oh, to yeah. stop making money you don't have a day job you don't have any job like music is your job so now you can book shows no one is coming to shows so how have you guys how are you surviving how did that did it, did it hit you that bad you personally as well. You okay, personally. me personally, you know, I, I build websites, so I was kind of lucky for that one because um, I had something that that could keep keep me. But most of my friends, like like you said, ninety nine percent of musicians don't. But in Nigeria, most always have something that they are doing that is different. So it's 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 always like how am I going to put it? You know that you have work coming in. You know that something's coming to do stuff for you, mm-hmm. and it helped. So I had a little buffer and yeah. no one is going to give you a loan in your country. So you have to save. So we artists are used to saving. So I think that, that helped us a bit. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was relatively okay. So we hold on to just that thought, unfortunately. So you're okay. playing your song. All right, so sorry about that interruption, but thank you so much if you're just joining us. You are watching Rock Tour Live right here on Watch Perfect TV. And of course, before we were, we played that song by Zainab Sula, we were still talking to her. She is literally the rock queen, the soft rock queen from Nigeria, and she made time to come to the show just to talk to us about her music and her career in general. And like we told you earlier, it's not her first time in Kenya. She's been on this show before. Yeah, and she just, we are just catching up. And you were telling us, uh, we... Uh, I asked you about um, COVID, how it affected music, and uh, it was really bad in artists. So, how, you as a person, how did that affect you? How were you coping? Because uh, people had to move back to a country right here in Kenya, like things were really bad. Yeah, we were all indoors, but then um, mm-hmm. I told you, most musicians also have something that they're doing, mm-hmm. especially in Abuja, because mm-hmm. Abuja is like the capital. So. They kind of look down on you when you're just an artist, artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to like have something that is bringing in the funds. Not everyone, so that kind of helped me as well. Since I, I do the other stuff. Oh on yeah, the side. you're a dickhead. Yeah, <laughs> nerd head. Yeah, on the yeah, side. Yeah, she, she is uh, full on. Um, she, I don't know how to call you. Mm-hmm. Because she's so smart. Like even, um, even she does some. Um, 
Okay. Very I don't say much, but I, she works even with the government on some of her projects. That's how good she is. So that helped you during that time. Yeah, it, it really helped because um, even though we were on lockdown, I was already remote by nature. So the remote was very easy for most of us. Right. You know, so that that kind of really helped. So yeah. Oh, nice. That's actually uh, that's good at least for you, and that actually tells us something. Like right now, people should maybe save or just like be prepared because something like that might come yeah. or even COVID we are not even dying with it yet we've seen even some other countries like my friend um, from our slimy slimy in Kanja they, they are um they are rock artists and they've been doing their Europe tour. So they just go back to Kenya and we caught up uh, with them. I caught up with them on Thursday and they told me like Europe right now it's very cold and now COVID, the numbers are spiking also. Now things are closing. Down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember so that. Is closing down. I remember that in September I was supposed to do US. Yeah. And then because um, I wasn't vaccinated then mm. and they show in Texas they were like, if you're not vaccinated and you're coming from Africa, don't come. <laughs> so they're like, don't, don't even bother yourself. And my mom was like you want to go and catch COVID? Don't go. So I was like, okay, Kenya, here we come. So that was that was so, actually why. Wait, no, you want things to get COVID from you from US? Yes, yes things are and even you, COVID from Africa. And you know the funniest part? Even on the visa application. If you are coming from an European country, you are denied visa yeah. automatic. Right. Yeah, you must not come from Europe. But you can come from Africa. But now the festival itself said if you're coming from Africa, stay at home. So wow. I stayed at home. Wow. Yeah. That's so. quite unfortunate. But at least now when things close, uh, open up finally, fully, then you can be able to... I've used all my money in Kenya. <laughs> We're not done with your holiday. <laughs> anyway, you have an album coming up. Let's yeah. talk about that. And you just played one of the songs. Uh, Yvonne came out, I think that was last year or 2019? No, 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 last year. Last year, yeah. yeah. yeah last so that's year. pretty fresh. And then Bets on Me, we are going to play that as well. Yeah. yeah, Bets on Me came out early this year. So are those two making it to the album? Yeah, they will. Yeah, mm -hmm. they will. Um, I'm trying, because the last time I had an album was in 2017. I've done mm -hmm. singles, but I think that an artist is known you are judged by your body of work right. yeah so I wanted to do some that's actually the main reason for being in Nairobi I wanted to do something different I wanted to mix cultures learn cultures learn Swahili Mambo yeah. uh, and then do, do, <laughs> do one or two things so um, this is all helping towards getting the album so yes right. Yvonne is in the album uh, Betom is in the album Shako I don't know if Shako is going to be in the album <laughs> yeah, but I really yeah. really like Shako and yeah. but it's been on a previous it was a remake so yeah. i don't know if it's going to be and then uh 1919 called 19 Nairobi. Cold night in Nairobi. yeah that was not yet but yeah. it, it was because of her and what she gave me to drink yeah so she's okay because oh, it's still early and you can't talk about that I and, 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 just to, and, and just to be just to clean my name <laughs> i didn't actually give it i don't even drink what she's talking about but some of my friends gave her a drink that is known for kenyans and she blacked out it's a kenyan it drink it was a kenyan drink but that was it yeah i don't even drink that i'm not kenya so can't so blame me she wrote a song about that to blame me i'll take it if i make if my name makes makes it to the song then i'll take it i do not mind right i don't mean a job i mean i'm like if your song is gonna make it in a song your name is making it in a song like it doesn't matter they say not publicity is bad publicity yeah does, so yeah. i don't mind anyway yeah so what you're expecting the album how many tracks when is it dropping well i call the name of the album is room 309 yeah what yeah, room three. No, you have to tell us what does that even mean? <laughs> what, what <laughs> that is so random. <laughs> no, no, no. What came to your mind when I said room three? Room three and nine. What came to your mind? No, that, that sounds like a horror movie. Like you know, like the guy with this. this it's always something like so. So room three and nine maybe lives. It's a haunted house. It's a haunted room. Or maybe that's where you met your special person. I don't know. What? <laughs> <laughs> I know I talk about guys. Well, I do, but not particular anyone yeah yeah and everybody should be confused yeah, yeah but um 309 is is just a song i will tell you later but it's due out in february mm -hmm. we are it should be like 11 11 12 songs mm -hmm. i wanted uh, 11 but it's may, maybe 12 if i have to add so yeah, but if i have to add something else <laughs> yeah. yeah but it's it's going to be um I, I was hoping for a collaboration which is why it's even taking this long because i need the person to make up his mind mm -hmm. yeah because it's one that I really want to make it to the album but yeah it's it's a song it's just a collaboration and it's about different things that are happening in my life and so I want you to come into the room you know it's like a 
hotel room more or less. Mm -hmm. Come, I'm not telling you, no. But it's from 309 and it's going to be out in February. Yeah. And yes, people who gave me Kenyan something to drink are in that album because you guys have a dent in it. But that's it basically. Oh, we are super, super excited about that. We can't wait for the album. So um, you talked about someone uh, being in the album and you're hoping they'll make it to the album. Are they Kenyan? And if they're not, or if they are, who else are you working with on I can't the call album? a name, but... No, come on. Give us something. Just a little bit. Something to work with. I think it's, uh, it, it, it's been one year. Okay, right now, I'm not celebrating my 2020 birthday because oh, there was no 2020 as far yeah. as I'm concerned. So it's been one year. So yeah. I saw in 2019, and then this is 2020. <laughs> so there was no 20. There was I don't know what that one was, but that's not inside. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the year? What's the, but then there was a Kenyan I was supposed to collaborate with for Yvonne, actually. Mm -hmm. But then he didn't send his song, his verse on time. And I normally work with time. So yeah, you know him, his work. But I can't say names now because he hasn't confirmed if he'll be in the album. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's. But he, you love him, though. You love him very much. We yeah. Love. I think I have a hint who that might be, but yeah, just for the sake of uh, maybe I might be wrong, I'm not going to mention his name either, but see, he's already know. Isn't he though? Yeah, he's I already know that he. part. So I, I think I'm spot on, but I'm not going to yeah, not so sure. It. Yeah, I'm yeah. not really 100%. He was yeah. on one of the the top 10 but I don't I will not say if it's this year mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say if it's next year or oh, sorry if it, it was this last two years or if it's this today's program but he was on the top top five yeah mm -hmm. top five Oh, that's amazing. And I also want to know, do you have any, now that um, I was at an event uh, just the other day on Thursday, I mentioned that earlier, uh, there's another event coming up uh, recently, I think on 4th. So I don't know, are you performing in any of the events while you're here or you're just like still in that full vacation mode? And I am just, like, on a vacation mode. <laughs> but if this if the event comes with a check, of course, uh, why not? But, <laughs> but I am on full-blown vacation mode. I am not leaving my apartment. I'm doing Netflix and chill. Okay not you but just Netflix YouTube and just watching and trying out Kenyan food that I really really have problem eating like chapati ugali uh, you guys are going to tell me something about the ugali though but the ugali is more like just for food what, what's, what's please really don't blaspheme our food please uh, <laughs> like please 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 <laughs> Please. Well, that is more like, only mm -hmm. that, that is cassava and this is corn or maize flour and that is uh, cassava. So, what's the big deal? The day my apartment served me rice with no stew, that's the day I knew I was in Kenya. Like, what am I supposed <laughs> to eat the rice with? I'm supposed to just eat rice. I had to put on my status. I was like, Nigerians, come and see your Kenyans. What did they give me to you? Help me. I've lost like 10 kg. No, guys, okay. do not worry. I'm going to recommend some nice eating food. Places. Like, we'll, we'll go try some food after the show, don't worry, I've got you on that one. But do you have any upcoming projects apart from the album? Do you have anything else you are working on? You can maybe let the guys know before we let you go. Okay, well, well um, apart from the album is the main project, and then um, I did the vlog of the three days in Mombasa. So I'm basically just collecting content in Kenya and trying to meet people and learn about the culture and make sure my Swahili is at least 40%, not 50 But yeah, basically that's what I'm working on, the album. So you guys go check out the music on YouTube. I think it's Zain Absolute, mostly. Um, I'm, I'm, I, that's where our focus is on now, because we're doing a lot of stuff for Kenya at the moment. So. Oh, that's kind of But who have you had, okay, apart from me, obviously, and Heavy and the Bass, who else have you had the pleasure of hanging out with while you're in Kenya? Oh, Jay. Yeah. Oh, Alexis. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. If not, the rush was not around. I probably would have hung out with Sam and Sam Max. Yeah. Oh, yes, you've actually reminded me something very important. So, guys, today's on 20th, and uh, voting for Afrima ends tomorrow, tomorrow on 25th. So, make sure, please, 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 if you haven't voted, just log in to afrima.org. Afrima.org. That's the link. So, please log in there. And then just make sure you vote. You just go select. Uh, you, just vote for your favorites and then when you get to the rock there's a best duo 
artist or group. So two of our artists have been nominated in those two categories, in those cat in that particular category. We have our very own Rush Band. They actually won in the same category in 2019. They won the best rock band in Africa. So they've been nominated in the same category as well. And apart from uh, Rush, we have Tattoo Shiny as well. Our very own Tattoo Shiny, who is actually launching his album next week. I'm super excited about that. And the album is going to be rock. So yes, to that. Shout out to Tattoo Shiny and shout out to Rush. Rush actually have already traveled to then two of the bandmates. This that is Gakosh and uh, Sam. Sam and Sam. Yeah, Sam. Some of you may know Sam from one Vocali. He actually is also part of Rush Band. So they've been nominated. They're already in West Africa to see if they are going to win this. But they're not winning without votes. So please make sure you vote Nigeria, for them. Nigeria. Yeah. They're already in Nigeria. Oh, they're already in Nigeria. Oh, I'm saying West Africa. They're in. Ha oh, so we exchanged. You're in Kenya, and now Kenyans are in Nigeria. So we've given you some Kenyans so that we get. <laughs> no, no, they're Nigerians on that list, so I'm not going to say anything. But I know. No, that I'm just here to vouch for Kenyans. So please vote, vote for either Rush Band, or you can actually vote for Tetu Shani. Either of the two. Make sure you vote today, and make sure you vote tomorrow as well before uh, before voting ends, because we really need to bring this award. Home. Make sure you do that, right? And shout out to Zainab Sule for coming through on the show. Man, it's always a great time just having you here. But before you go, we have that stuff we call Rock Post. Now, Rock Post is just a segment on this show. And we just talk about trending topics in the rock industry. So, his kids would say, What the? Yeah. Oh, transfer. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, rock gossip. Oh, okay. Udaku, yeah, rock. Udaku, rock gossip. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, just like, yeah, so that's what it is. So you just talk about what's happening in the scene.